Our next inductee is Nicholas Black Elk, and he is represented tonight by, and correct me if I'm wrong, great-great-grandson Myron Poirier. Thank you, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I was told long ago to keep it under five minutes. So I said, well, thank God for notes, Apple notes. Bear with me if I keep my head down reading my notes. <laughs> uh, I'd like to thank the South Dakota Hall of Fame, its membership, for this, for this magnificent award. I'd like to thank the rest of the Blackout family that made it here today. And I'll, I'd like to thank everybody that made it today to attend the Hall of Fame. Um, there's many people out there that, that every year get, get applied for this type of award, and very few get it. This legacy goes on back when my grandfather was nine years old. I never knew him, of course, but I knew his son, Ben my great-grandfather. I knew his granddaughter, my grandmother, Olivia, and my father, Curtis. And what has been instilled in me through those generations helps me live my day every day to try to help somebody live better today than they did yesterday in a good way. As a nine-year-old boy, as told in the book Black Elk Speaks, my father lay bravely ill, my great-grandfather, great-great-grandfather. He was sick. He healed up, and as a Lakota, he had a vision. He had a dream, like we all do when we go to sleep at night. So he went to his medicine man, and at nine years old, this nine-year-old boy, I like to call him a man, because back then, nine-year-olds were drummer boys in the Civil War, two conflicts the United States was involved in. One was to eradicate the Indian, the other one was to, was the Civil War going on in the East. My grandfather was taken by his medicine man up what's now Black Elk Peak. He was on a humbletia, they call it, a vision quest. He come down and he told his vision one time in the sweat lodge. Years later, at the age of 72, excuse me, at the age of 71, a white man come to him and he said, come back in one year. I need to tell you something. This man was John Nyhart. John left, come back in one year, not knowing that in one year he would be given the best story of his life told to him. So he comes back on May 30th, 19, 1931, they make their first hike. My grandfather, Nicholas Black Elk, his son, my grandfather, Ben Black Elk, John Nyhart and his daughter, Hilda, make the hike. My grandfather tells the vision. It was beautiful about it. He says in there that I seen more than I could understand and understood more than I could see in that itself is very powerful, very powerful. 
So they come down. My grandfather never spoke any English, could read it or write it. Grandpa Ben, his son, was shipped off to Carlisle at a young age. He could understand that, reading, writing, and arithmetic. He translated Lakota language of his father's to Hilda, who scribed it and gave it to John. Following year, the book Black Elk Speak. To this day, we've my grandmother Olivia made her journey over to the other side in 2007, and she said, Hokshila, that means boy. She says, Takoja means grandson. She says, follow your grandfather's vision and make things happen in a good way, in a humble way. So I said, okay, well. 2014, we changed the name from Harney Peak to Black Elk Peak to commemorate the vision of cultural diversity <laughs> and unity for all walks of life and who we are as one people, one race, the human race. You know, I always say, wouldn't it be nice being a disabled American veteran myself? Wouldn't it be nice to uh, live in a world without wars when you've seen war? Wouldn't it be nice to see love and compassion come from each and every one of us and from people we never ever met, you know? Wouldn't it be nice to wake up and to see our world come together overnight? That may not happen in our time. But if we keep raising our children on that path of cultural diversity and understanding, then it's going to happen. So in closing, I'd like to say we Lakotas accept this honor of this great award of our great grandfather being considered for this award as well as for canonization for the sainthood in the Catholic Church as a recognition of our spiritual traditions and equal acceptance as those of the great religions of the world united as under one God in the belief system that there is one God. So in closing, I would like to say Wopi la tanka pilame elo. The best is yet to come. And I thank you all. God bless.